Oh, cursor capture for that one. My bad. I'm going to do that real quick, actually. Oop. Okay, so as I was saying, Barrow 2020, uh, sequel to Bato, um, out of an asset flip. This is new tracks, basically. All the vehicles are the same ones. Unfortunately, can't your color playing solo. But I guess we'll be the boss. I think they all, I'm pretty sure they all handle the same. I think it's got local multi. Yeah, well, it's got at least local two player. Around like I have eight hundred. Uh... Oh yeah, visually yes, it's very stunt race FX, which we need to go back to on the Switch because I tried to play it and it crashed. They finally get it to emulate properly on something, and um, yeah, it explodes. Uh, that's the other thing. There's a lot of. Uh, a lot of laps. How many tracks are there in this? Because the first one had a decent stack, and then they put out an expansion DLC. That one looks like a lot like the other one, but I don't know if they changed this bridge section. What's up with that? Five, six, seven. Okay, eight. The first one, I, I think it had 16 total in the first one, so it would go eight and eight. I think the first one did like Ten and six or something, but yeah. Anyway, let's Get race. Three, also, the backgrounds two, look more dramatic now. Go, go, go. Uh, I don't know how to accelerate. Yeah, that's weird. Accelerate is right on the D-pad or on the right stick. Okay. You can't shortcut <laughs> like that, anyway. That's going to take some getting used to. I turned off Joy to Key, so I'm not overriding anything. That's just the default setting, apparently. I guess we'll at least try every track. Try to see if it's super loud. Okay, I thought overpowered was too much. This race might be a wash, though. I think the controls were weird in the first one, too. I just didn't make note of that before I got set up here. Honestly, it's a little easier on your thumbs. At some point, I'm going to have to track down a Super Nintendo or a, a syst like one of those retro multi-systems that plays cartridges and get uh, a few things. Like, Uniracers was probably, like, you can emulate, but well, I get, uh, but there's games that do not emulate well. I know we did one the other week. Um, uh, Stunt Racers. 64, which was a rental only one. Well, actually, yeah, that would be an N64 game. I have an N64. Never mind. Oh, uh, yeah, so we're going to have to crack a copy of that down. It's just not cheap. Uh, it's like trying to get uh, the Clay Fighter 2, the director's cut, or Clay Fighter 63 and the third. One of them, one of the Clay Fighters had a, uh, like a blockbuster only director's cut. We're going to track that down. Don't touch my butt. Oh god. Touch my butt. But yeah, I want to get Uniracers. That one probably emulates fine, but... Yeah, we got through like one set of courses on that Stunt Racer 64 before it blew up. They found one emulator it kind of works on, but then it, there's just too much going on or something. And at least my old computer can't handle it. Though all things considered, it does hold together pretty well. 
I, didn't, I never wanted to be like a big like original copy collector, but oh man, we were gonna. I knew, I knew it was gonna happen eventually, basically. To be honest, I've been pretty good about getting uh, legit copies for most of my retro stuff. Like some of the import stuff, it's super hard to find. Oh, stunts, stunts, icy hot, icy hot stunts. Did it, fam. That guy just freaking died. Uh, even though, like, they're a lap up, at least a lap up on us, maybe more than one. But yeah, like, some of the, so, uh, I will admit that some of the import PlayStation stuff has not actually been imported by myself lately. It's a little bit of emu. I think I say that when I play it anyway, but. I ain't got to archive anymore. Like, hey, 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 not nice. Like, if they're not going to re-release this stuff or make it easier to get on future platforms, screw it. I do like. I also used to be against getting a digital version, like yeah, digital re-releases, like the PlayStation Classics and stuff, unless I had to. Um, very original hardware kind of guy. I think I might actually start forking out for more of those. I think. I don't know if it happened. I know in uh, EU they re-released Jack X on PS4, and I kind of want to get it because I learned in a video about it. The same video I learned that about it uh, that Jack X does not play well with um, the slim PlayStation 2, which is the one I have. I don't feel like finding a fat one, so we're in trouble. Uh, I've never had the glitches he uh, described, uh, yeah, the guy who made the video described, but I think I've had a little bit of trouble before. Um, that, and I think there was something we're supposed to recognize off of connecting uh, Daxer on PSP to it. That's the other thing, yeah, did they include the special unlocks you got for, if you, if you link up, I think there were some from save files too, but there was definitely one Card, maybe two cards and characters, or something like that, that you could only get by having Daxter on the PSP and then plugging it into your PS2 and having the game recognize it. So, they didn't keep that. We keep doing it the hard way and hope we don't die forever. Yeah, we were supposed to. Oh, sweet! Full, a full aileron roll. Very nice. Uh, we were supposed to do Garfield Kart for the Switch tonight, but they moved that back a couple of weeks, so that's not going to happen. We are doing some other things on the Switch. Garfield Kart is not one of them. It took me a full 30 seconds to figure out what the heck I was doing control-wise. But... Alright, well, well, we'll do at least four of the courses on this, since they, with the, I'm, I, I would, I'm trying to stick to the default, uh, lap counts, and it's taking its... I don't think, I forget if the announcer voice was in the original for this, too. I do like the camera in this one. It says it's, it goes everywhere and makes him violently ill. But yeah, it feels like they've got like a slight kind of fisheye effect going on it, and it follows just just enough to make things feel action packed. Like I don't know if it's a distance thing or like angle thing or what, but oh my god! I forgot about the br the bridgey bits came up and oh, that's just murder. Yeah, the AI, well, I did set it to medium, not easy, uh, but the AI, I don't recall the AI being this murderous before. First one. Also, this is like a buck. That's the other thing that's not. Maybe a, maybe two at this point. I, I got it for under a dollar at launch, but that had that started, like, it just came out discount. 
So it is a good time for a great price at McDonald's. I don't eat McDonald's anymore. It's not even so much because of the allegedly uh, horrific practices and whatnot. They actually got rated pretty okay on beef recently. According to one of my coworkers, like, they did a survey of beef quality of different uh, um, fast food places and uh, Burger King. Went, Burger King was like the bottom, or close to the bottom, which is sad. Not including Taco Bell. I, I think they were kind of like, yeah, we know, the letter Z. Well, to be honest, whatever, it's still edible. I feel like, I feel like, yeah, the, the badness of Taco Bell beef has been greatly over-reported, but whatever. But yeah, like, Panera and Chipotle were the best two on beef. Someone trusts Chipotle because they have issues with their vegetables, like, every five months, but whatever. Margaritas cure everything. I forget where I was going with this. Oh, I, I brought a McDonald's, that's why. Also, a friend of another co-worker apparently got E. coli from the local Taco Bell. Again, vegetable issues, so, um... And apparently, the, 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 their settlement was to give him free Taco Bell for life, and it's like... Wait a minute. Why would you get free the thing you got E. coli from for the rest of your life, unless they're trying to kill you faster? So you don't sue. This doesn't make any sense to me. But, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. The McDonald's here sucks too. I think they were at a good 30% success rate for actually getting my order right. My order was... My order is simple. All I want is a sausage McMuffin with egg. That's the one they... Well, that's the part they scrubbed about most. It's always... I get the sausage McMuffin, no egg, or I get it... Or I get an egg McMuffin, that weird Canadian bacon ham nonsense. I like Canadian bacon, but it's not what I'm looking for with a sausage McMuffin with it. Not that it matters now, I'm trying to go more veg, so whatever. But yeah, they're terrible. And take forever. At this point, Way I'm trying to get other stuff for the stream and for me and just everything else. Not like I have money for much beyond cup noodle anyway, so whatever. Like I've been saying for months, I want to get Anki Overdrive and do that for you guys. What it is, it's a, it's basically like. Robotic semi AI driven slot cars put on an open track instead of a slotted one, and um, what was the other thing? Yeah, it's it's run by an app, and I have the I have the apps for both versions. I just don't have the tracks or any of the cars, and like the the yeah the, the thing is the tracks are modular, so you can. Kind of, like, get parts and different expansion kits and stuff, and build your own. Nobody that makes them went out of business. Which put a slight discount on the starter kits. But right now I'm trying to save money to pay off my, uh, any, any work that might be do need, be need doing on my real-world car. And get it inspected. Like, it's... I should be fi there's like one issue that might have come up over the course of the past year or so. But yeah, I want to get that squared away and then if I have anything left after what I've tucked away. A little Christmas present for myself is the plan. Alright, let's menu. We'll do one more course.
see if there's one that looks particularly interesting. I like this. Actually, yeah, let's go to track three because I like I like because it, it looks like the bones. Huh? But yeah, if I can afford it, and we like, well, let's say when I can afford it. We'll put it that way. Um, we will be doing that in such a way that, like, I'll have the uh, the cars themselves on main camera, and then the game like tucked away in the corner, or maybe vice versa. Oh no, you, the cars are small, so it would help to see what we're doing. That'll be a bit of a different setup, but it'll be cool. Means I have to vacuum the floors, but whatever. Uh, yeah, what else? Oh, and that and the same company made a, um, made a similar thing beforehand on Anki Drive, and I think you can use the drive cars on Overdrive, but not vice versa, but the, the deal with, the, 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 like, the, the, instead of modular tracks, they were preset tracks, but they were, uh, it was neat, they're rollout mats, so you can just roll them up and store them. I think the cars are a little smaller, but yeah. But with uh, also with the game driving the uh, overdrive version, like I'm gonna die. Um, yeah, with the with, with the game driving the overdrive version, there are like there are weapon attacks and stuff. So you can see them on screen. It'll like cause the other car to spin out all like in real life and stuff. It's really neat. be fun hunting eBay for all the cars that I can't find and whatnot. Complete the collection. It'll be one of those obsessions and I know it. And I still haven't finished collecting the uh, Disney Infinity or Lego Dimensions stuff I wanted. So, there's that. Oh god. This has been a fun rambly night just talking about stuff and consumerism being of consumerism uh, Luke Craig can eat my ass uh, like I've been waiting for the last Halo crate since June right and like we all know that like Luke Craig went filed for bankruptcy got bought out by some uh, funding source we're gonna have to get good and more reckless uh, at this I mean sorry I'm, I'm distracting myself. Uh, yeah. And they've been slowly rolling out the crates of the O people. In the meantime, they've still been shoving ads down my throat every goddamn day for other crates you can buy. Crates you can essentially kickstart. Like, they're crowdfunding. Probably a good idea, since they have no goddamn money. Uh, crowdfunding, um... Certain, uh, crate pitches. Like, limited run one-offs. And they also enrolled me for one that I did not want, thankfully. I finally figured out how to cancel one. Not entirely clear, you have to like go to the payment methods in your account. You have to go to the specific crate on your account list, go to payment methods for that one, and there's the cancel button. And even though I canceled, it's like, it's had this thing like, undo, undo, for the past like, four days. Like, my ass. Give me, give me the crate I paid for. Technically by proxy. And, um... I, the account... The payment for the account is in somebody else's name, but it's somebody I know. So I give them money. I get the credit. Anyway. Um, <laughs> didn't steal any credit card numbers. Too lazy for that. I'm too paranoid. Um... Well, yeah, where was I going with this? So, yeah. Since June, uh, they printed a sticker for it at the beginning of October, and but still hadn't dropped it off at FedEx. Now it's listed as shipped in my account in information, but if you click the tracking number thing, FedEx is like, yeah, we ain't got this yet. So I don't know what's going on. That's going to be a real fun unboxing episode, I'll tell you what. Like, this rant is refining itself in the back of my head every damn day.
And I know we we got a proper fourth place strength for, for that last uh really like a light touch on the steering but it's actually fairly responsive like I'm worried way too much yeah look at that I just ripped right through that corner That's what I get for being a cautious driver failure oh god oh god I feel like there should be a kill plane a little higher up on that corner, but whatever. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll have that damn thing by the end of the year so I can scream about it and be done with it. And never unbox anything ever again. Cool story. Not last. We did it, fam. I just drank for the last two because I couldn't remember if we... I drank for that, so I'm going to get another beer. Yeah, Battle 2020. It's Battle all over again, and all the achievements are, I guess, winning on each course. But it feels like you actually have to put in some effort to get good this time, so that's cool.